what's up guys um, I'm Andres and I'm here with Hop Curious at uh, Bring It To The Table and I brought Nine Ladies Dancing it's a uh, strong ale at 11.3% uh, percent, and from it's from the brewery it smells sweet to me Belgian for sure right first thing I get automatically Belgian if you know the brewery then you know they specialize in that can't tell if it's gonna be a little tart or uh, sour yet but uh, got kinda I got hopes for it yeah I think it's gonna be a little funky, so. Yeah, it definitely smells like a Belgian strong ale. 11.3%, you said? Oh, I'm excited. So yeah, excited. It, it burn, smells man. strong. Yeah, it smells like it's gonna burn, but it may not burn. Like, we've been surprised in the past. I get that Belgian when you guys talking about, and I think with the beer, it, was, it has like cocoa nibs and vanilla, so I think that's probably mm. where the sugar's coming okay. from. I can definitely get the vanilla in there, which normally in a lot of vanilla beers, you kind of don't get the vanilla in the smell. But this one, like, you don't have to search for it so hard to find it. It's strong. That definitely strong. not. To me, that does not match the way it smelled. To me. Right. <laughs> and caramely, yeah, it's a strong ale for sure, you know. Not too tart or anything like that. Actually, none of that at all. But uh, just real heavy body caramel notes. You're getting caramel and uh, yeah, Belgian yeast for sure. That's good. That's great. Oh, I can taste the cocoa nibs. Ooh, just like just slightly, it's there. Could taste a little bit of vanilla. I'm trying to think of what it is. It's almost like a, uh, a chocolate and vanilla ice cream type mixture. I feel like but without necessarily the creaminess of like a cream beer, you know? It's gonna be kind of weird. I taste red licorice. Unlike that fruity beginning, and as the sweetness comes into it, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting there, or it could be like, mm. it's a certain kind of candy maybe. Maybe it's not licorice, but that's what I'm thinking. Nah, I don't taste licorice. I would say though, someone said caramel earlier, I think that was you. Definitely tastes a lot of that and almost, like what is it, like the Werther's Originals, like you know, like those candies, <laughs> like that caramel, like just like, or like the C's ones that are like just like super like dark lingerers, eh? Um, you know what, this uh, reminds me of the uh, rhinocer rhinoceros beer that we do, the uh, Curl right, mocha stout, right, because it has the uh, coffee and chocolate. We do cocoa nibs. And it almost, you know, I almost look right past that at first, but it, it's there, definitely kind of like in ours, but this is just more of like if you did like a Belgian twist to it and had a little bit more red. You know, it's not quite as dark, so probably a little bit more caramel. I think the cocoa nibs and the vanilla add that sweetness to this, so I imagine without that, you're probably like a very like very strong like kind of tart or soury ale and because the the vanilla and the um chocolate are in there it makes it sweet so have you guys ever been to the brewery here in california yes i've been to the brewery i've been to uh now both of their locations uh they are fantastic I would say I'm not a huge fan of all of their beers because they do do a lot of sours but they do do some great beers and this happens to be a fantastic beer their side one is Tarot yes all right and I think they just did another one called side project or something like that that's IPA it focused it hasn't opened yet though right right but you can get some of them under that name at, at, yeah, at, at the, the brewery, brewery. Yeah. yeah I've been there not not the biggest fan to be honest, I always get some of the fancy bottles that really do impress me, you know, from some of the the collector series that they do there. Have you been in the brewery, Andres? One time with you. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> uh, I've been in the brewery a couple times, and it's mainly when a friend of mine's like, I'm kind of interested in sours. <coughs> I'm like, I know the one place where I can get a good sour, and that's at the brewery. What would you guys rate this beer? Um, probably about the the mid range. What was it? Buy for a friend. Recommend to a friend. Re recommend it to a friend. You know, if they haven't really tried it, uh, definitely something you need to try. Southern California, you got to try breweries beer. It's definitely a staple. 
now in the craft brew market down here. So uh, the best time to go there though is to go and get like a little sampler. You mm -hmm. get you get to try a little bit of everything that they're working on, and they they do a lot of it pretty well. I'm probably between recommending a friend and like I would maybe buy this at a bar, but if I was at a bar or at like a brewery or something, and they had stouts or porters or other stronger other you know different types of beers i'd probably go for those before i would touch this and okay for my rate i'm reaching here but i I'd, I'd recommend it to a friend and it's only because like this is not my style of beer that i'm necessarily into and yeah i'd recommend it because it's an interesting beer but it's not something i would really get at a bar really at all so yeah i i'd get this at a bar i'd give it a four yeah i like it guys thanks for watching this was bring it to the table we are hot curious stay curious that was pretty good that felt that was real good. good that was good that felt real good